Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. Evgeny Novikov. Oh my God. The last video we did of him was just like mind blowing. His talent and technique and just ferocity of force. The F O F is out of this world, man. We're going to be doing what song are we doing? Demolisher. This video has like 2 million views. I'm so excited to see this drum playthrough. If you're brand new here, welcome in. If you're coming back, it's good to see you again. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, please do it. Like this video. Let's go. I'm very excited. And the thumbnail on this was some uh, scary shit. So <laughs> I imagine this is going to be a uh, volume is up. Yeah, it's going to be intense. I'm sure. Here we go. Oh my God, dude, this opening. Okay, the one-handed roll is so cool. So my colleague, uh, the other guy that runs the uh, Seahawks drumline with me, he always is doing that, man. That's like his, this is go-to, uh, this is go-to flash. I love it. Um, okay, so in the very beginning, we've got to give a little bit of shout out to the song design and the guitar stuff because the way that riff hit me in the left ear, then it hit me in the right ear the next time was just so good. And I need to see that. I need to see it again. Like, I know we just watched it. And goddamn, this is so intense. Nice Christian drummer here. <laughs> No offense, just making jokes, not trying to offend anybody, just just having a laugh. All right, here we go. All right, so we also got to say, like, the, like, if you just listen to the roll, dude, the consistency of sound in that, and it's, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. So this dude is so technical. Like, that's, that's why I couldn't wait to get back to this video or another video of him playing because I was so impressed with the first one. And also doing this with, look at that beefy ass mask. I mean, come on, man. Like when you implement like vision and stuff, like it, it affects your, you know, ability to feel your instrument. I mean, in a way, like clearly it's not a problem at all, but you know, like it, it would affect the shit out of me. So it's just, it's really impressive. All right, we're back five. Let's keep going. Where do you look? Do you look at his hands or do you look at his feet? Like both cameras are just insane here. There's no way you can't. I mean, on a first time listen, you can't get enough out of this. And I think I said that the last time too. Um, I, I do want to praise the band though, because the track is so good. Like what, what the guitar player is. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know anything about Slaughter to Prevail. I'm completely speaking from ignorance here. Um, but how can you not like what's going on? There's such a great like exchange between the guitars will just be ripping into my ears and then he takes that rhythm and like puts it back, but they're getting out of each other's way at points. And then there's spots where it's layering up and just fitting like perfect together. Now my, my, my drum kit skill set ability, I play like I, I can hang with some funk bands, you know, like I can play, you know, the money beats just, I could be a metronome when I see this stuff and I look at the feet and the technique of what's going on. Like, I don't know how to break that stuff down. Like I, I can look at it and be like, okay, ergonomically, that's what it looks like is happening. But I don't have this, the experience to sit there and appreciate what's going on uh, correctly. I can just say, man, that looks amazing. But I'll say that, man, that looks amazing. But just no, I don't. I don't have like the eye to like to break down like feet and with double kick and just like extreme blast in your face beats. But uh, man, does it sound good? Holy shit. <laughs> Man, that's so good. Uh, just like the last one, there's some really good cymbal melodies in here. And he's beating the shit out of the ride cymbal on that. Because, I mean, the sticks are backwards the whole time. We're playing with the butts. Like, 
And uh, I didn't know if that was just for like the last song because that was my first time seeing him, but I can see this is definitely his style. I'm going to go back uh, 20 seconds because I want to appreciate all the uh, the second level stuff that was going in because it's like just it's perfect. <laughs> interesting we finished that fill with toes down heels up that was kind of cool that might be totally normal just remember it's it's new to me you know i want to see that again Okay, so I'm just going to ask you all, let me know, because you're going to know more than me. I'm seeing like when it's like simple rhythms, we're like toe down, heel up, just super forceful. But then what what is this called when there is rotation from like the um, the ankle where he's getting multiple notes there versus when we're sitting back and, it's and playing those 30 second notes? Like those are like the three main differences I'm identifying right now. There's probably more, but like, I just need somebody that's hip to this to let me know. So if I can like get some vocabulary for that, that might be helpful for future videos, but that uh, definitely is very cool to watch. Holy crap, man. Okay. I was like, okay, this field change is amazing. Like, I was like, is this is this a metric modulation? Are we going somewhere? And I was like, or am I just being fooled and we're still at the original tempo? And then we went there. So I'll shut up this time. I need, I'm going to go back. One, two, 15, not 20. I want to hear all this and then we'll see where this goes because this is nuts. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never seen nothing like that before. I have fucking goosebumps all over my... Wow. <laughs> I can see why this video has two. What song did we do last... I, I apologize. I can't remember the song we did last time. I feel like his proficiency at Kit is like leveled up in comparison. That This is just... <laughs> I just don't... I don't know enough, man. I don't like... So I feel almost dumb commenting on this video because I don't know what to say. Um, let's watch that again. Okay. No, we got to go back more because that was nuts, man. is that shit uh okay so besides the obvious speed that's going on in the feet and then we get half of that and just in the left hand when that left hand one hand rolls going and we got all this stuff going around here oh uh, we get to the flam accent groove that's around the toms it's super sick like that actually that it's cool like it's like one fourth the speed but amazing because you get so spoiled with uh everything that's came out 
I don't really understand what's going on with the feet at all. I don't, it's like, I f it feels like it's a double stroke roll. Like, is he hitting two times per foot there? But, uh, I mean, the speed and the clarity of that is just stupid good. Like, it is stupid good. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. Here we go. We're going to keep going here. <laughs> I love this part. Oh, that is funky, dude. Okay. So we totally changed. This guy's like, he's got so many different technical approaches, not only in the feet, but in the hands too, because that was the first, like just total, uh, way more, it's not Mahler esque, but a, a tiny bit, just the wrist was so different compared to anything else we've done, but it fits obviously the tempo and that feel change completely. So I'm gonna go back 15 just to grab that. This is a, he's a very entertaining drummer to watch from just a very, very humbling standpoint. That rhythm is sick, dude. Almost a little, little, almost a little soca rhythm there, a reggaeton, but obviously not because we're just hitting uh, in your face metal shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, simple stuff is cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's something. On my own time, I need to go back and watch a couple things. There were such a different in sa difference in sound in a couple of those snare accents where I'm getting a really ringy version and then a very uh, hard staccato dead sound. Um, that's amazing. I, it's it's pretty hard to talk about it when uh it's so like far out of my league, you know, like you just sit back and you're like, wow, I mean, rhythmically, you know, I can like trans I can transcribe the rhythms. Like I listen to it, I can write that stuff down. But the important takeaway here is what's required on the human side to be able to execute all that. His level of execution is just, I don't know. I'm uh I'm not the, as familiar in like this genre. Keep in mind like I'm mainly like I'm mainly a jazz player and like a pit a pit, uh, pit orchestra stuff, you know? So like, that's way more my gig. So, I mean, I've listened to hard stuff growing up, but like, you know, like I didn't grow up with drum playthroughs. You can watch, you know, like 4k videos are just amazing stuff like this. So like when I see it, it's, it's really nice. So, uh, I hope to learn a lot from you all in the comments because that was super entertaining. What are we doing next? Is this like the best video of him? I feel like this one, this is, it's was a lot more in your face than the previous one. So you let me know where we going next to them. Because uh, that's how we get these recommendations. This or in the Discord. So that's that's the easiest way. All right. Thank you for this one. That was a lot of fun. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live. So we can talk about your favorite drum playthroughs or just music in general. You can find a link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as the Discord. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next video. All right. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.